right, 746 is our time. Big crowds, uh, weather was spectacular for all of that. If you have plans today, still looks pretty good. Uh, you're gonna notice kind of hazy conditions at times across eastern Oklahoma. Uh, this morning we do have the uh, humidity values that are 90, 95, 96% and some patchy fog. Uh, you, you've probably also heard about these big, big fires across portions of Canada, significant fires. A lot of the real significant smoke stays in still north across the middle part of the country but the airflow could bring some of that occasionally kind of haziness through northern and eastern oklahoma today and tomorrow so just kind of remain aware of that and here's the look from tulsa international this morning 79 this afternoon sunshine now but a sun cloud mix for the second half of the day showers today will stay well west of our area i'll show you that in a minute 75 at one o'clock by three o'clock we're at 78 again more partly cloudy conditions during this uh, time period and then if you have plans tonight let's say that you're out at nine o'clock tonight the temperature would still be in the lower 70s so there's the disturbance that's around dodge city kansas here that counterclockwise rotation with that that spin in the atmosphere. This is going to help trigger additional showers and storms later today right in this general area and ahead of it. These are weakening showers. They're going to move eastward but will approach I-35 I think around the noon one o'clock hour and then kind of fall apart. The clouds associated with that will move in our direction. So this is our severe weather risk assessment for today and basically tonight. Storms will attempt to redevelop here in that shade of yellow. That's where most of them are going to be strong and severe. Now tomorrow Tuesday we do have a chance chance for some scattered showers and storms here in eastern Oklahoma. Our probability is not exceptionally high. We're not anticipating strong nor severe storms. Severe weather threats on Tuesday again would stay west of our area. This may, we may bring this a little bit more to the east close to I-35, especially in the north central Texas area, but it's still anticipated to stay mostly to the west. Now, here's Wednesday. Remember, we're looking at severe weather risk assessment, not probabilities for showers or storms. So Wednesday, the opportunity for severe storm activity is pretty low but on Wednesday that will represent the higher opportunity for showers and storms in our area so tomorrow we do have a chance for some showers and storms these are relatively low probabilities around the Tulsa area a little better out to the west and then we get into Wednesday slight moderate and likely we're at the moderate categories that's a 40 percent chance this is not going to be big broad areas of rain these will be scattered showers and some rumbles of thunder uh, we get past Wednesday we go into Thursday and Friday and we basically could continue this out through uh, Saturday and Sunday as well we'll have these low probabilities for scattered showers or isolated type storms. Most of us still won't see it as we head into the weekend. Uh, when we go from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, slowly increasing humidity. I mean, not anything that's gonna cause significant issues, but you'll notice a little bit more of that. And by Saturday, the south wind comes up a little bit. We have a very light wind planned again for today. We're at 58 right now, and the wind calm. It's 60 in Bixby, 60 in the Sky Took area. Your hometown temperatures, 56 in Stigler, 55 in McAllister. Here's the future view. Sunshine early and then a few clouds later. Highs this afternoon, upper 70s near 80. There's those showers that approach I-35 that just kind of fall apart, but the clouds associated with that will roll eastward. Now, tomorrow morning, we're going to start in the upper 50s and some mid 50s. Yep, tomorrow morning, we'll have the radar working again. We're going to find scattered showers. This time, they'll be closer into our area, but still just a little bit west of us. And then we get into tomorrow afternoon. That disturbance will be floating across eastern Oklahoma. It doesn't look like much at this point, but high temperatures would be in the upper 70s and lower 80s. And with that disturbance nearby, there would be a chance for some scattered showers and storms on Tuesday, and then a little better chance Tuesday night into Wednesday. Wednesday will represent the higher opportunity in the next several days. And there's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Morning lows in the 60s, highs in the lower 80s, slightly muggy, nothing too concerning on that category. And we'll have at least a chance for a scattered shower storm as you head to the lake.